Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're going late tonight, folks. We've got a full case of 2018 Bowman Draft Baseball in the books from jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is eight box jumbo, regular jumbo edition. Pick your team number six. We've got more in the store, so check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. So late on a Thursday night. Thanks to everybody here for getting into the action. CJ Monroe going big with a good chunk of teams at the very end to help push this along to the end. Rick Barker, Last Spot Mojo, Diamondbacks. Excellent work, folks. Thank you. There's the eight box jumbo right here. So relax, kick back and relax, enjoy the show, settle in. Get a nice, maybe an adult beverage if you're an adult. Warm glass of milk, if that's your thing. You'll be snoozing in no time. All right, here we go. Good luck. Thanks for digging deep for it. I told you, if you I was like, hey, if you guys dig deep, I'll dig deep. Challenge accepted. Boom. So we were doing. We did a super jumbo a little bit ago. That has five autographs per box. This one has three autographs per box. Three times eight, twenty-four. That's what we should be expecting out of here. Prospect hunting, ladies and gentlemen. Prospecting. <laughs> yeah, big boy Zello Seven, warm milk. He's like, what am I a cat? Doesn't that help you sleep? Or is that an old live sale? Rick Barker, this is your first baseball break? This is a hell of a first baseball break to do. I didn't realize that. Well, good luck, man. I have to be honest with you. I don't know who the Diamondbacks have in this set. Box number one, here we go. We're gonna fly through this, ladies and gentlemen. If I set a world record on this, I could, I'll try. All right, we're gonna breeze through this paper as we usually do. Paper doesn't ship, chrome will ship, all of this will ship. Paper parallels, of course, will ship. Bobby Bradley to 150. These parallels will set aside. We'll have our shipping team sleeve and top load those before they go out. We've got Tristan Houses. Tristan Casas. Going to the Red Sox. That'll be for an Eric, one of the Eric's, Eric Bailey with the Bow Sox. All right. Rick Parker says, take your time. I'm just worried I might fall asleep during the break. Right? Still got to shut down the shop and get home. All right, there's Nick Prado to 250. Royals, purple chrome. Bo Bichette. It's going to be a big deal. Rick Barker, how did you... Uh, how did you discover us? I always, I'm always curious when I see some new faces here, how you've discovered us. We're gonna do left-right randomizers on these because we, we don't really, we do some Google AdWords advertising, but we don't really do a significant amount of advertising. It's all word of mouth or people just stumbling upon us. And it always kind of cracks me up. There's a Casey Mize facsimile autograph out of 250, that'll go to the Tigers. CJ with that one. I'm always just like, so you see a random dude online opening up cards on a live stream, and somehow you're convinced, all right, I'll, I'll put my hard-earned money into this crazy thing. There's Adam Hazley to 499 paper for the Phillies. 
And the next auto is Ryder Green out of 499. Yankees. That'll be for CJ Monroe. Picked up the Yankees late. I love it, Rick Barker. Rick's like, Rick's like, just searching YouTube, you know. And uh, I was the only one live at the moment doing these box breaks, these case breaks. And you're like, I'm game. I didn't, I didn't sound like a snake oil salesman, I guess. So he was like, all right, I'll give this a shot. I can trust these guys. Logan Allen, to 4.99, Padre. Well, I appreciate it, Rick. Thanks for getting in. There's Juwan Harris. 15 out of 50, gold chrome. That's for the Friars. That'll be for Josh Proust. Josh Proust, another chance at Carl Weathers. Jacob Britt says, just started watching just the other day. A buddy on Instagram recommended us. Well, thanks, buddy, on Instagram. Anyone we know? What about everyone else? If you're relatively new to Jaspies and you're watching right now, if you're awake, how did you how did you discover us? Let's get some impromptu live feedback here. There's Brady Singer, 402 for the Royals. It's a big pick for them. Do we get our three? No, we should have. We should be expecting one more. Too kind, Jose. Too kind. We try. We're not for everybody, but if Rick, if Rick's been watching and listening this long, I feel like he gets he gets it. <laughs> he gets what we're all about. A lot of dry humor. A lot of, a lot of tongue and cheek ribbing. A lot of sports talk. There's Cole uh, Rutterer. Rotterer. It's going to be a tough one for me. Darren McKenzie with the Cubs. That's our third. All right. Box one in the books. Box two. Whoa, box topper. That's the first one I've seen. Nice. All right. Well, we'll do we'll do that at the end of this box. Who are the box toppers? Do we know? I know that Joey Bart of the Giants is a box topper. Who else? Does anyone else know the list of box toppers? Or is he the only one? true Jose that's right I mean listen uh, it's uh, Jose's right he's like he's got me some neat hits not all the time but good ones at times this is a tough this is a tough way to collect but there's a bit of a game aspect it's fun you know and I think I think sure you can go out go to your local card shop you buy a box of cards you can rip this yourself that's fine you know a lot of people plenty of people do that but for those of you who like the thrill of the chase, then this is definitely, you know, this is definitely a thing for you guys. You have a Jim Carrey voice, Rick? All righty then. Um, oh, big boy solo the seven. I, I, I looked down expecting to see your name there. You've been getting the Giants and all these looking for that Joey Bart. Well, maybe, maybe Frank... Frank Pollock has this one. Maybe he'll sell it to you for a good price if he's not a Giants fan. Uh, 
We got Jorge Guzman blue paper. I was about to fall out. I had to grab that. There's your auto. There's Taylor Larnick for the Twins. Karen Steele with the Twins. Bo Burrows for the Tigers out of 402. Paper. Parker Meadows, that's Austin Meadows' brother. It's a baseball family there. And look at this. For the Orioles, 162 out of 250, Caden Grenier. That is for EA and the O's. It's a nice class of 2018 autograph. Ho Jose says, I like these shorter printed breaks more. The five-star, triple threads, NT. You've had a little more success in those. These, these are a little tough to hit in, believe it or not. It seems sort of seductive because you're like, oh, there's 24, 30 autos in these. You know, Jumbo has 24, the Super Jumbo has 30, but they're they're a bit hard to hit in. You gotta kind of have to get the right prospect. But the reason why people do this all the time is Grayson Rodriguez as well for EA. Is that there's a lot of value in these prospects, especially if they come, become major leaguers. It becomes pretty huge. Bowman's best would be a pretty good one. That's that's pretty much they take Bowman and they just take the best of the best of Bowman. And then it's all chrome. It's pretty nice. Vavra for the Rockies going to EA. And the auto is purple chrome, 236 out of 250. Mason Denneberg, big boys 007 on the board with the Nats. First rounder. All right, and the box hopper. Don't look, Dave. It's going to be. Oh, wow. No. Not Joey Bart. It's top of the class, Nick Madrigal. It's a big name in the hobby right here. Should be a big name in the hobby. Things go well for his career. That is. 47 out of 50. Nice. That's a great one for the White Sox. That'll be for Eric Bailey. Nice, Eric. White Sox are an organization, ladies and gentlemen, that are looking to... looking to leverage their young talent. I mean, they, they could be... There's a number of teams like that. Padres are like that. Remember, um, for those of you, if you only casually follow baseball, you'll kind of be like, holy crap, wh where did, you know, this, this recent, this past season, we're like, holy crap, where'd the Braves come from? Where, 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 why are the Phillies turned turn into, turn into really good? Who are these guys? Who are these random names? They've been building that young farm system for a long time, and they finally kind of got it together. Those young players have been blowing up. The next round of teams that should be that should be there 
to take that step, kind of step, possibly, potentially. Padres. White Sox are another one of those teams. Maybe a couple year, maybe a year or two after the Padres. So those are some couple teams to look out for. Reds as well. They've they've been quietly building, building up a, a pretty deep farm system. Royals have been rebuilding. They're not too. They're they're a little bit farther away than the those other teams, but they're getting there. They've got some names. But that's why the White Sox, you know, you hear them in talks, you know, you hear rumors about uh, Bryce Harper being connected to the White Sox. And you're thinking, why would the White Sox want Bryce Harper? Well, it's pretty clear, I guess, that that the White Sox think they're they're not too far away, right? That, that they, they think they're closer than you and I may think to taking that next jump. AL Central, kind of weak. You know, so that, that's divisions up for grabs with the right moves. There's Grant Cook for the Pirates. So we'll see. Just something to keep in the back of your mind. There's Jeremy Ironman, Oakland A's. That'll go to Scott V and the A's. What do I think about the Dodgers and possibly getting Harper? I think they should do it. And so that's our first autograph out of there. We'll set that right there. I mean... Dodgers have to shake it up. That's my team, folks. Dodgers have to shake it up. It's not going to... Just keeping the... I, I understand why they kept the same team last year for the most part. There's Ezekiel Pagan because, you know, they had to stay under that luxury tax. But now that they're under, it doesn't mean they're going to be going hog wild spending money. But at the same time, they kind of do. They have to shake things up. Yeah, if they sign Harper, they would have to trade a big name to make room for him, like Yasiel Puig. And I think they will. I mean, Yasiel Puig, great player, a fan favorite. I love him. Well, the wild horse, you know. But we've we've been to a couple World Series with the, with this crew. We gotta shake it up. Get the young guys in. If not Harper, then Verdugo. There's Cody Clemens, Rogers kid. Gold paper to fifty. Next autograph is Jeff's kid. Griffin Conine. Remember Jeff Conine? Purple Chrome out of two fifty for the Blue Jays. Larry. Larry F. with that one. There you go. Blue Jays on the board. Second round pick. Second auto of the box. One more to go. Need a solid D-bag, Riggle. Who's on? Who, who are we looking for D-bags wise? How much were how much were the Diamondbacks? Oh, Alec Thomas. Yeah, that would be the name. Or Jake McCarthy. All right, all right. There's Ian Anderson at a 99. 
was a third overall pick back in 2016. That goes to E.O. and the Braves. Green paper, Cody Clemens again to 99. Clemens has a number of sons in baseball right now. And we've got Tim Kate, Big Boys 007, Blue Wave on that one, Dave. 90 out of 150. Blue Wave auto. There we go. National second rounder, our third autograph. All right, next box. Are those the bat box topper that we pulled? Are some of these autographed? I would imagine that some of those are autographed. Oh, the Bart one, the Joey Bart one's autographed. Is he supposed to be the real deal, Big Boys 007? It went Casey Mize, Tigers, then went Joey Bart, I'm pretty sure, right? He was second. And then Alec Baum for the Phillies. I don't know. I don't know what his progression is, but you know, move Buster Posey to first. Put a put a new catcher back there. Well, I think we have a Bowman Sterling autograph coming up, folks. There's Tim K to two fifty. There it is. Should be an auto. It is. 41 out of 99. That swag. Tyler Swaggity for Larry. There you go, Larry. Big prospect for the Pirates, too. Auto number one. Yeah, so Dave's saying that Joey Bart definitely the real deal. Stud. Buster's replacement for sure. There's Tim Kate again for Big Boys 007. I think the Padres are going to be a little scary in a couple in a year or two. Maybe this year, Big Boys 007. I think they're going to be scary. Diamondbacks kind of gutting gutting their team, especially without Goldschmidt. Um, you know, Giants kind of rebuilding a little bit. The Padres might come out of nowhere. I do like the addition of Joe Kelly, too. There's Travis Swaggerty again. There he is, 10th overall pick. But I have to get used to not hating him, Jose. There's Griffin Roberts for the Cardinal. Remember he was on the Cardinals? And he drilled Hanley Ramirez in the wrist. And that pretty much cost the Dodgers the NLCS that year. That was a World Series year right there. That could have been it, Jose. And he beat the Dodgers again? <laughs> the Red Sox? 
He's got two. He's got two rings. I think that that Cardinals team went to the World Series and won it too. Not that I'm salty about that. Of course I am. Yeah, the Blue Jays. How could I forget about the Blue Jays? Blue Jays are going to be, you know, if there's going to be like one of those like expensive teams next year, it's going to be it's going to be the Blue Jays. Dante Bichette's kid, Bo Bichette. And then they're gonna have Vlad Vlad Jr., Vlad Guerrero's kid Vlad Guerrero Jr. among a bunch of other young kids coming up the ranks. It's Jason Schroeder, Blue Chrome. The, I mean, the only problem is, is they're they're stuck in a division with with the Yankees and the Red Sox, who also have pretty young teams as well. But if there is if there is like one, you know, if any of those teams have a down year, one down year, then they could pounce. They could surprise some people. There's Tyler Frank. Autograph for the Rays. That'll go to CJ. Well, Vlad Guerrero Jr., Rookie of the Year. AL Rookie of the Year in 2019, that's hashtag good for the hobby. Because I think, you know, we've started to see him, I think we've started to see his autograph sprinkled into some Panini sets, Panini baseball sets. But I think 2019 is where tops will really start going big on, on, uh, on those guys. So Blue Jays will probably be pretty expensive next year, ladies and gentlemen. Apologies in advance. But it's, those are the market forces. Might run out of trash here, trash space here. All right, good luck, boys and girls. We're just about halfway through this break. Another 25, 30 minutes to go if you're still staying up late watching. After that, I'm done. <laughs> I think I'm using my last bit of steam for tonight on this, but I'm glad you guys dug deep and knocked this out. A lot of good prospect hunting in this, so it's a lot of fun. I think so too, Jose. I, I, I think the Padres are going to be kind of a surprise team next year. I think they may have to work on a little bit of starting pitching, but if they get that knocked out, they got a good bullpen, good young offense. Some young players could, could explode. There's Alex McKenna to 99. I feel like they, they they feel like they should spend a little money too. They're the only game in town, right? No Chargers anymore. There's Lenny Lenny Torres for Eric Bailey in the Tribe. Oh, is that right? I don't know. Let me. Uh, it says he's from Covington, Louisiana. So maybe not. Maybe it's the, maybe it's another kid for the Pirates. No, Cabrian Hayes is from Texas.
Maybe does Braxton Ashcraft? He's another guy in this set. Braxton Ashcraft? They're shed long for the Reds. They've got some great prospects coming up the ranks too. There's Ryan Mountcastle to 50 for the Orioles. That is for EA and the O's. And speaking of Travis Swaggerty, there he is again. 10th overall draft night autograph, 14 out of 50. Does that mean he signed this on draft night? Is that the, is that the implication? Or is it just his picture that's from draft night? Another pirate, another bucko for Larry and the Pirates. Nice. Carter Kaiboom, 91 out of 99. Nationals, I guess, would have a good kind of young core coming up, too. They still got Trey Turner. He's... It's only a couple, two, three years in the league. Juan Soto, obviously, and Victor Robles, who's been battling some little injuries here and there last season. But if he gets back on track, that could be another big one, too. Big Boys 007 cares about him, Jose. He's in Northern California. There's Nikki Lopez to 4.99, and wow, Chrome Draft Pick Auto Gold Wave Refractor Parallel. I think out of 50, Anthony Siegler, who I'm almost certain is a Yankee. Yes, New York Yankees. That goes to C.J. Monroe. N.Y.Y. New York Yankees. It's a nice hit. Possibly a future catcher for them. That's your third auto. <laughs> Rick saying, Rick saying a lot of packs with no dime bags. They man, they should be worth a million since they're so rare. We can charge a million for it. I don't know if anyone's going to do that though. Tim Kate, purple chrome to two fifty. And we still have three, three, six, nine autos to go. Play got played to the whistle. What about this guy? No, he's from New Jersey. Will Banfield, 402. Marlene's. Not Lolo Sanchez. Now you got me looking for that guy from Turlock. Next box. Getting there, folks. Getting there.
three more autographs in this box. I think it's been a pretty solid break so far. Maybe a train whistle out of here? Out of fives and under, out of five and under, we'll get you a train whistle, ladies and gentlemen. The infamous, famous Big Hit Express. Mason Denneberg, 402. Oh, come on. You know, D Dave, you know that my, my I'm sure I've, you've been breaking this for years. It, um, I'm sure you know that, remember that my cousins are, are Giants fans. My cousin Dave and Dan, they grew up in Northern California, the San Jose area, so they grew up Giants fans. There's Katie, uh, Katie? Kaden, Grenier, out of 499. This is, this is how, Katie is how uh, Lindsay Lohan spells her name in Mean Girls. But this is Kaden. Grenier, Orioles, EA with the O's. But yeah, man, last 10 years have been pretty tough. Can't even talk baseball with him anymore. Lazaro Armenteros. That's for the A's, that's for Scott V. Yeah, they're, they're pretty great, except for one thing, Big Woods. Oh, so. Except that they're Dirty Giants fans. And um, my cousin Dan is a, uh, he's a lefty. So he would... Uh, when you, when you play baseball, kind of had that Will Clark kind of swing. Corey Howell, 250. And Gold Wave, Nolan Gorman. Nice. That's a big prospect, too. 36 out of 50 for the Redbirds. Robert Throne. Nice. Oh, is that who it is? Kevin Kramer? Does that ring a bell? Dave? Then we got Luis Robert to 499. See, that's another another big name for the White Sox. And Grant Avril Levine. Colorado Rockies. That goes to EA and the Rocks. I know, I feel like we're getting closer and closer to a super. All right, so those are your three autos of the box. Let's see if we can find super factor maybe, a non-auto super factor, a bonus auto super factor. Ezekiel Pagan, 250 for the Cubbies. There's Sheldon Nusi, 402. Almost there, folks. Two boxes to go. We're doing it. Last break of the night, of course. Going a little bit later than you usually do, but appreciate everybody getting into it, digging deep. Always appreciate it, ladies and gentlemen. 
You know, I need to go, I need to go hit up some more college baseball games. Although UCLA basketball, they're not very good this year, I think. So it'll probably be easy to go see them. Um, Good luck, everybody. Second to last box. Super Fracture, maybe? That'd be a nice way to end the night. We got Trevor Larnock. 150 blue paper for the Twins. We'll get all those sleeved and top loaded. We got Jackson Kowar, orange. I'm getting closer. Three out of 25. Orange Chrome. Nice one for Mike Kuntz and the Royals. Nice. We got Mike Ciani out of 499 for the Reds. There's Kyle Isbell out of 402. And another Griffin Conine. Another Blue Jay for Larry. Oh, sick. In the inside of the NBA team gave these kids from Boys and Girls Club of America. They're all they're all getting bikes. It's a good gift. Royce Lewis to two fifty. Barkley, give him some of your autographs too. Oh, they're all so excited. That's nice. They're all freaking out. Juwan Harris to 499. Padres. And the autograph is Grayson Janista. That's our third auto. We got an orange, but no super. We got one more box to go. Will we pull the super? We haven't pulled one yet out of this Bowman draft. Maybe a non auto super out of here. Let's see. Although we might be able to peek and see beforehand.
Oh, they all got helmets and stuff? Dang. Nice. Oh. The bell wanted to make an appearance. All right, last box. That's the last box of bell. Good luck, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We've got more in the store that we can do tomorrow. We've got two box Bowman Draft Mixers featuring one of these jumbos and then a super jumbo. It's a random team break with a shot at a box of Topps Dynasty Baseball. Someone's going to win a box. It's like a, what, three dollars $400 value right there? So give that a shot. It'll be a great... You can sell it. Use the cash for Christmas or whatever. You can keep it. You can open it. You can give it to someone else as a gift. Nice gift. So give that a shot. We've got more jumbo cases. Pick your teams, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We've got more super jumbo. Five autos a box in a six box break. Check that out. Elite Extra Edition in the store as well. And we'll have Bowman's Best Baseball on the site as well. So check that out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. For those of you watching live, pick your teams now before all the people in the morning steal your teams. All right, last box. See, that wasn't so bad. Made it. Good luck, everybody. Breeze through this paper. Big thanks everybody for filling up this break. CJ Monroe getting it down to one. I appreciate that. There's Luke and Baker. Maybe Luke and Darth Vader will be playing together in St. Louis. There you go. So these were the three autos from the previous box. There's your first auto of this box, first of three. Cardinals, Robert Throne with another Cardinal autograph. Nice. Two more to go. There's Pedro Avila, 402 for the Padres. Still haven't seen that Ryan Carl Weathers, Carl Ryan Weathers autograph yet, Josh Pruz. Two autos to go. Brady Singer, paper to 499. And it's going to be a Brewer autograph. Rory with a Joe Gray auto. There you go, Rory. This might be a big name in the hobby when he gets to be a rookie. He's another two-way player like Otani. There's Brady Singer to 250. Who I got for the Super Bowl? <laughs> there was some kid in here earlier during one of our optic breaks. He was convinced that the that the Eagles were going to win the Super Bowl. Eagles. He was a big Eagles fan from Philadelphia. And then he walked it back to winning the division. Then he walked it back to wild card making the playoffs. Uh, I don't know. I, I actually kind of like that I don't know because... It seems like there's so many, you know, there, you know, no one seems like the Rams don't seem as invincible as they were. Chiefs don't seem as invincible, which is good. So now, you know, maybe, I mean, maybe it could be a wild card that wins a Super Bowl. How crazy would that be? That's happened before. It's not unheard of. So I like that. I like that we don't know really what's going to happen. Yeah, well, that's even if they make the playoffs, Jose, right? 
And they'd be lucky to get out of the first round after that. All right, Braxton Ashcraft reveals a Jason Schroeder. That's your final autograph, folks, out of 497 for the Strohs. That'll be for Eric O and the Strohs. So there you go, Eric. I think we got like three different Eric's in this break. I think we got EA, EO, and EB. Thanks, Eric's, for getting in. Thanks, everybody. Let's see if we have some other parallels. No, that was not Nick Jaspi. There's Taylor Trammell to 150 blue chrome. All right, then we got Royce Lewis for the Twins to 402. That's a former number one overall pick right there. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Congrats to those who hit. Thank you to those who did not. Appreciate you getting into the break. Unfortunately, not everyone's going to hit in this. My only 24 autographs in this one. But you may still hit a prize. Remember, this is a St. Nick break. St. Nick Jaspi putting together a bunch of Christmas gifts for you. Not for me, for you. I don't get anything. So from Rick down to Big Boys 007, Dave, let's get your names in here. We don't have very many boxes left. Let's, let's move back here. There you go. We're running out of boxes already. Only 12 left. All right, let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list three and a six, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Name on top after nine times is going to be four, three, two, one. Rick Barker. There you go, Rick. Last spot mojo. No hits for the Diamondbacks, but a Christmas gift for you, Rick. Happy holidays, man. All right, so let's see what box you get. Three and a six, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, it's going to be box nine. Oh, I got to do a left-right randomizer too. Hang on a second. Before I grab the gift, let's do this really quick. That's for the um, recommended viewing cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, right side will get them. So it'll be the right side teams will get those. All right, let's get Rick. Rick, are you here? Maybe Rick went to bed. Well, in that case, good morning, Rick. Merry Christmas. Box nine. It's either going to be a retail box or a hobby box or both. one box and it's a box of playbook football that's always a fan fan favorite and this is 2014 playbook football so think back to your 2014 draft class there could be some gems in here so there you go rick thank you very much for getting in no hits but a gift from us to you thanks to everybody who got into pick your team number six eight box jumbo bowman draft we got more in the store so check it out jaspiescasebreaks.com Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time. Good night.